Before you leave the house, we want to make sure you get a proper meal. We're talking fast, fresh, and delicious. We're, We're mom, mom and dad. dad. And this is your all access pass to the hottest, spiciest, tastiest club in town, the, the Supper, Supper Club. club. Tell us about tonight's headliner at the Supper Club. We're taking it back to the classics. Roasted chicken with Romanesco, maitake, purple broccolini, and a mustard jus. We have our headliner here, and we want to make sure that we treat it right. We're going to need a sharp knife. We're going to be breaking this down into quarters. You're going to want to come around, right? You're going to pull out your bone, your thigh bone. Right? And there's this little flap of meat right here right? that is called the oyster of the chicken. It's the most tender part of it, so you always want to make sure that when you're cleaning it, you grab that guy. We're going to have a nice little fun trick here. Once we pull it down, so now we have a Frenched breast. All right, Dad, now that you've properly broken it down, What's the next step? Well, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna season it with salt and pepper, and we're gonna let some of the moisture come out of the skin, because that's really gonna let it help become crispy as possible. So we're gonna have our pan on medium to low heat. We're gonna drop our chicken. Perfect. All right, give us a rundown, Daddy-O. What's going on? So right now we're searing the skin of the chicken. We're trying to get it as crispy as possible. So I advise doing that on low heat for at least five minutes without moving it, without flipping it, without turning it. So if we're not moving it, what happens if it starts getting dark? You need to turn down the heat. It's a little too high. You really want to make sure that you take your time caramelizing the skin. So you want to really want to make sure it's crispy. You're still on frame, yeah? Mm-hmm. All right, first things first, you want to have a towel in your hand. It really makes it look like you're doing something. Dad, what are we doing next? So now we're going to be finishing cooking the chicken. All right, so we flipped it over on the bottom side. It's going to keep it on medium to low heat. And the reason why you want to do this is because at high heat, you can pull in proteins, and they're going to get tough and hard, so that your chicken's not going to be as soft and tender. Mm. Now, there's always the great question, how long do you cook it? Well, not all chickens are made alike. Wow, that was beautiful. Thank you for that. Um, and the reason why I say this is because if a bird weighs two and a half pounds or three pounds or three and a half pounds, they're all going to cook differently. And if you're at home and you're cooking it on medium heat and someone's cooking it on low heat, it's going to take longer than two. So really it's all about just making sure that the protein is done. And you can do that by just making a little insertion right at the back of it. And you can tell if there's a little bit of pink left, translucent, then it still needs to go a little longer. Uh, but take your time, you know, don't rush it. Why is everybody afraid of raw chicken? Yeah, raw chicken to make it give the squirts. So, gonna have a Romanesco, right? So you, you don't want to cut through the top. You know, it's a nice, beautiful piece of. It's a nice, beautiful vegetable. So you really want want to do. You almost want to core it. You want to take out your core, and then you want to break off your Romanesco. And the reason you really want to do this is you want to keep intact. You know how beautiful it is. So you want to usually cut into your onion three or four times. So we just need a little tablespoon of salt. I'm gonna drop the Romanesco for about five minutes, just till it's tender. Nice and bright color. A lot of the chlorophyll is setting in the vegetable, so we want to shock it. Um, and it's going to prevent it from becoming overcooked and mushy because we're still going to cook these one more time. Now the broccolini, all we really want to do here is just trim up some of the stem. Right. We're going to blanch off our broccolini, which is almost as beautiful as your mother. You're going to let that go for maybe 45 seconds to a minute. All we're trying to do is make it tender, right? And make it nasty. Get effortlessly tender. We're going to pull them out. We're going to add it to our ice bath, and we're going to shock, again, set the chlorophyll, which is going to give it that nice bright color. Now we're going to do the maitakis, 
right? So you gotta start with a little bit of oil, right? You're gonna wanna start it on kind of like a colder pan so you don't burn it, right? So you really wanna caramelize them first, right? They might take a little bit more oil and then you season at the very end. Shallots. So you wanna slice it nice and thin, right? So this is gonna go really, really well with the maitake mushrooms. Right. And then we're just going to kind of rough chop the garlic. Just add some butter, and add our shallot, and add our garlic, salt, and pepper. All right, so next, now that the chicken is fully cooked, right, nice and crispy, for the pan sauce, we're gonna start with onions. Just a touch more oil in the pan. So what we're doing is we want to sweat and caramelize. We're going to touch a red wine. Chicken stock. Going to add a tablespoon whole grain mustard. Seed. That whole grain mustard. We're gonna let it simmer and emulsify. And then we're gonna melt it with butter and finish it with herbs. We're gonna throw in sage. We're gonna throw in thyme. That mamba butter. And now it's ready to go. So now that we have some brown butter going, right, we're gonna add all of our vegetables that we have cooked separately, and we're gonna gently heat them up. Nothing crazy, but we're gonna re-season them. A little pinch of salt. Right, and we're really seasoning the butter that we're adding to the dish. We should have already seasoned our vegetables. Okay, so it's nice and light. A little bit of lemon. All right, now we're ready to plate. All right, well, here is dinner. The first thing we're going to do here is we're gonna take our chicken and we're gonna take it off the bone. All right, you can hear that skin is really nice and crispy. So, should be cooked perfectly all the way through. Nice and tender, juicy. So we're gonna lay down our chicken. Gonna have our mushrooms, Romanesco. And finally, going to finish with our pan sauce. A little there. A little bit there. A little on the plate. And there we are. There's dinner. All right guys, the headliner is finally here uh, and ready for consumption. Mom, the chicken should be effortlessly tender. That is the most important part about this. The only way I like it. Yeah. Let's do this, daddy -o. All right, so you should have a lot of acidity coming from your mustard jus, uh, which is gonna really help uh, with the chicken because uh, a lot of that skin can be fatty. Uh, we cooked our vegetables in a little bit of butter too, so again, you wanna have some of that acidity to help balance your dish out. Come here, come here, dad. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. It is effortlessly tender. Yes, it is. Again, and what really made that possible is cooking it really slow, right? You're not throwing it in a super hot oven. You're not slamming it on high heat and trying to sear and get your chicken done as fast as possible. I let it take its time. I'm gonna get a little more in there actually. Um, take your time. Definitely, um, you know, let us do the thing. Make sure. Make it nasty. Make sure to make it nasty. A couple things that me and you are talking about, me cooking, and we'll throw it in the video.